Hey guys, welcome back or welcome if you're new and happy new year to all of you guys. I feel like it's been forever since I've talked to you guys um, or filmed a video for that matter. But anyways, <laughs> happy new year. I hope you guys all had an amazing holiday with your friends, family, or loved ones. I had an amazing holiday with my family. My son, my 14 year old actually flew from the States out to Japan with us to spend the holidays with us for um, a few weeks and it was amazing and we did lots of fun things and we were out and about and exploring Japan. So that's what I have here is some of those photos that I printed out on my Canon selfie. I'm probably not going to get to all of um, these adventures in this video just because it was a lot and this isn't even half of it. I mean, we went to Tokyo Disneyland. Um, we went to Tokyo um, a couple times. We went to the zoo. We went to shrines and temples. We just went to so many different places. It's impossible to cover it all in one journaling video. So I just printed out a bunch of random photos from those outings. And what I get to in this video um, is great. And then everything else, I guess, we'll save for another video. So I'm going to be journaling in my Japan junk journal that I created. I do have a full tutorial or video up on my channel under my junk journal playlist of when I made this um, a few months back if you want to go check that out. But I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I have no idea how long this video is going to be. It's probably going to be um, long. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. So I will probably end up uh, during editing, speeding up some parts that I'm not really, like, talking or, um, I guess during, like, the boring parts. But I'm just going to open a page and get started. Let me actually move this back a little bit so I can access my drawers. So I'm just going to clip some of these pages just to make it sit flat a little more. Okay, that's good. Okay, so again, I printed these out on my Canon selfie. If you're looking for a good like journaling or scrapbooking photo printer, highly recommend um, the Canon selfie because you can do a bunch of different layouts. So I have like four different photos on a page and then this one I have two you can also do three so you can do like one um just pretend that part's not here so you can do like one larger photo and then two smaller. you can do a whole bunch of different layouts that's why I really like this printer it's linked in my Amazon storefront in the um description box I always link my Amazon storefront and I have a whole um, not playlist of supplies, but I have a whole like board, kind of like a Pinterest board of the, the junk journal supplies that, um, I purchased off of Amazon. So if you want to go check that out, I also use, um, this one's newer that I purchased, but this is the Kodak, um, P... 210R. This one's really cool um, because you can print on the go by using Bluetooth. The Canon selfie doesn't do that. You have to plug it in. Um, but this one's pretty cool. I just need to charge it and I actually need to get a new cartridge for it. But this one only prints one size and it's a little bit bigger than this. So that's the difference between the two. But I still really like this printer as well, but I think my favorite out of the two would have to be the Canon Selfie. Um, so yeah, I'm just tearing these off and then I'm going to cut out the photos. And I started doing this new thing um, in my journaling videos where I like to share kind of the story behind the journal spread and kind of take you guys along with me by sharing video clips and pictures. So that's what I'll be doing um, for the foreseeable future. Okay, so I think I want to journal about this day that I took my kids to a lighthouse 
in Yokosuka. Here is the lighthouse in the background. And this is, I tried to get all three of us. <laughs> As you can see, I got half of my kids' faces. So um, I want to, I think I want to journal about the lighthouse today. I also got some seashells, which I was thinking I could maybe put this photo since it's smaller in this little pouch. This I got from Dollar Tree, and I know that because it says Greenbrier International right here. I, I don't know when I bought it, but I just went through my stickers and I found it. And it's a bunch of seashells in this little mason jar Ziploc bag. So I was thinking that I could take out, and these are all individual stickers too, these little seashells. So I was thinking, I don't know, maybe I could leave a few in there just like that. It was like a little shaker pocket and then I don't know put my picture inside and then glue it in in here I don't I don't want to leave all of these stickers in here because it's going to add too much bulk um, and I can't really afford to do that in this journal because I added a lot of bulk in the making process so I have to be careful because I really don't want to end up having to rip out pages um, so that was just my idea it was to journal maybe about the lighthouse today. And then if I have time, I'll go back and show you what you guys, what I wanted to do with the other photos. Actually, let me just tell you right now, just in case we don't get to it. Um, I was actually starting to do a Christmas advent and obviously I never finished it. But these photo sizes are perfect to put behind these little tags that I had taped in here with the washi tape. And this washi tape is just not doing it. But my idea was, I'll just take one of these photos to show you guys. My idea was, was to take the photo on the back of the tag like this. Here, let me show you guys a better one that's okay so see how I made like little doors with these tags I was thinking about putting the photos on the back of the doors or on the inside of the doors and then journaling either on the back of the card or in the space so it's kind of like an interactive like thing so I took a bunch of those tags already and I put them in here, I just haven't actually journaled yet. Um, so that's what I was thinking of doing with all of like these smaller photos. So again, I might get to that today, I might not. So let's go ahead and just get started with what I have so far. Um, and I also wanna try to use one of these doily printables um, or linens that I purchased from an Etsy shop called Little Bindi. It's actually Johanna um, here on YouTube, Johanna Klo. I think her last name is Klo. Um, it's her, her Etsy shop and I love all of her um, junk journal with me videos. I've been following her for years and I also follow her shop on Etsy and I've purchased a few things and these are her vintage linens printables. So I think I want to try to use one of these because I, I purchased these um, digital printouts, I wanna say like a year ago and I still haven't even used any of them. So I wanna challenge myself today to maybe use one of these linens. This one looks very Christmassy, so I don't know if I want to use that one. But I was also thinking of doing um, this one. This kind of reminds me of, it, it could be like an ocean and then the beach. So I think I might actually do that. I think I might use that one. So how am I going to do this? I can either fold it right there, and I think I had tried to use this before, or I can, I don't wanna cover up this page because it's so pretty, but I really like the blue. 
in the background. So actually what I might do is something like this where I have this part on this side and it kind of just hugs the page. I think that's what I'm going to do. So let me get out my glue. I could use double-sided tape, but I don't really have patience for double-sided tape today. So I'm just going to use a glue stick. I still haven't figured out, for those of you that have been watching my videos, I still haven't figured out the difference or what each of these glues that I bought in the 100 yen shop is supposed to be for. So we have like a blue glue, we have a yellow glue, we have a gray glue, <laughs> and another gray one. Um, still don't know. Still don't know what the difference is with all of these glues that I have or what they're supposed to be used for. So I guess just I'll keep using them until I figure out which one is my favorite. I think I've used so far the gray and the yellow. Did I use the yellow? I don't know. Um, and I could even just leave that to where I can fold it out. But honestly, I, I'm, I'm not going to do that. I don't need to do that. But that's just an option. I could just leave it so I can add more underneath, but I have so many pages to fill in this journal. This is a huge um, junk journal for me. And when I made it, I originally thought I had three years in Japan um, to fill it up, which is honestly more time than I need. I can fill up a journal in like, I don't know, three to six months. But um, we recently found out um, that we are actually moving to Hawaii at the end of the year. So we were supposed to be in Japan until uh, the end of 2024, and it turns out that was a lie. <laughs> I've always wanted to say that um, from Mari, but um, it's looking like so far we're going to be moving to Japan or I'm sorry, to Hawaii at the end of the year. I mean, life has just been throwing us huge curveballs. See how cute that is? So these are some seashells, sea glass that I had picked up on the beach. And what's really cool about like the beaches here is you'll find like little porcelain or ceramic pieces or tiles. It's really cool. So I've been collecting um, those things and yeah, I think I'm going to put a couple more seashells in here. But look how cute this is. So now it's just like a little shaker card and actually I am going to use, I lied, I'm going to use some double sided tape on the back of that just to hold it in the, um, the picture from sliding and so yeah I'm just gonna add some tape right here I'm trying to stay in frame I still haven't figured out how to get an overhead or like aerial view um, in the space that I'm in just because I have nothing to hold like a, a tripod above me um, so this is the angle that I have to film at I'm sorry but anyways yeah we're moving to so far the plan is is I, I still don't have a date or a month or anything like that but I just know that it's supposed to be towards the end of this year which is crazy I mean two overseas moves in a year is a lot um I mean it's definitely an adventure don't get me wrong um and this will be my second time actually um living in Hawaii. I lived in Hawaii. I'm going to let the air out of this. forgot to do that. Um, I lived in Hawaii in my early 20, not even early 20s, when I was a teenager. When I, when I was 18, I moved to Hawaii and I lived there for three years, but it's been about, I want to say 15 years since I've lived, since I've been 
back to Hawaii. 15 years is a long time. Um, so it'll definitely be different because this time I'll have a family, you know. Um, the first time I lived in Hawaii, I, I didn't. Um, I, I just had my, my son's father. So my first husband is um, who I lived in Hawaii with at the time. So it'll be much different now because I have um, my kids and just it's going to be a different experience, I feel like. So I am excited, but at the same time, I'm, a, I'm not going to lie, I'm a little, <laughs> I'm a little stressed, especially because we have our dogs, which it was not not a fun process getting them here. I don't think this tape is going to hold. That tape is not. I'm going to use some heavy duty double sided tape. I didn't really think this through because I put my tripod directly in front of the drawers that I need to use. Anyways, what was I saying? Um, yeah, it's just definitely a, a huge curveball. Again, um, I, we didn't know we were coming to Japan until like a few months, I guess, before we sold our house in California. We, um, put a lot of things in storage, actually. Like we downsized a lot, which is honestly, I'm, I'm kind of liking it. Um, living more of like a minimal, I guess, lifestyle. Definitely not in my craft room, though. Th those three things I could not sacrifice. <laughs> um, but the rest of my house is pretty minimal. Uh, we only took the things that we were going to need, and everything else kind of stayed behind in the States in, like, long-term storage. But I don't know if they're going to move that stuff out to Hawaii for us, because we're only, we're only supposed to be in Hawaii now for two years. But who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? By the time we get to Hawaii, they might tell us we're moving to Spain. <laughs> I honestly don't know anymore, you guys. I'm just enjoying the ride. Um, again, it's definitely, definitely an adventure. Okay, yeah, that's going to hold a lot better. Look how cute that is, though. The seashells in a jar of seashells. And that's where I um, store my seashells are in jars. And I put labels on them. Okay, so... Where are we at? Like 18 minutes for that? Jeez. I'm a little rusty. Okay, so I think... Look at how cute these houses are, by the way. Or these, like, buildings. They're pink. I love when I see, like, groups of buildings, like, that are all different, like shapes or like architect architecturally different and then like different colors and I just loved all of these pastel house colors and even like this pink house it was just so cute I had to take a picture um so here is the lighthouse picture and the funny thing about this lighthouse was that um all of us, me, I mean, when I, when I say all of us, I mean my kids and myself. My husband wasn't actually home until the day before my son left, which was really sad because we didn't really get to spend, like, time together as, like, a full family because uh, my husband was out at sea. So a lot of the adventures that we went on were just me and my me and my kids. My husband wasn't there. Um, so anyways, the, the lighthouse, we're all afraid of heights. And I was like, let's go to a lighthouse, you guys. Let's go up there. And like, we took a, a fun little walk through the beach and we looked for seashells. And then we kind of like walked up this huge hill where there was like a little museum and a lighthouse that you could go in and not only am I afraid of heights but I am afraid of I'm claustrophobic so I don't like tight spaces and the stairwell getting up to the, the top of the lighthouse was very tiny 
and I did it. I still went up there. <laughs> Even I was holding onto the handrail at the top. Um, and it was it was pretty high. To me, it was high. Anything over like the third story of a building, that's high to me. I actually live on the second floor, but if I lived any higher in the building that I am in, I probably would never go in my dining room because it's just, it's too much. Okay, so I'm just going to do, do my journaling a little bit different than I normally do. I'm just going to put my pictures down first and then kind of collage and decorate around them just because I just want to get these. I just want to get away from this double-sided tape. I'm just not in the mood today for double-sided tape but here I am. I, I don't think using glue on pictures is a good idea just because it doesn't stick very well. Um, so yeah, anyways, we went to the lighthouse and then we, what else did we do that day? I think we went shopping, but the lighthouse was really fun. Uh, we all conquered our fear of heights that day. Actually, my son, he went to the top and then he was like, nope, I'm going back down. That's enough. <laughs> but my daughter and I kind of, I'll insert the video clip and show you guys. It's pretty funny. Okay, so we have the photos and maybe I'll journal, use one of these spaces. I don't know. Maybe I'll journal right here, actually. Maybe I'll do like a half circle journaling situation. Um, I just really need to start using my supplies. Oh, the ephemera. How could I forget about the ephemera? So my Winnie the Pooh ephemera holder uh, that you guys saw in my last journaling video, it's um, still full. Very, I added more things to it, but what I decided to start doing, because I don't want to miss out on it, like adding any of this stuff to my journal, as I started organizing my ephemera into different like outings that we went on by a paperclip. So I paperclipped like all of the park maps, the ticket stubs, and everything by the outing that we went on. So, um, that's something that I did to somewhat organize. So here is the ephemera that I have from the lighthouse. I have the ticket, one of the tickets, and then a history of the lighthouse printouts that they gave us in English and then um, this is just a little handwritten note from one of the workers that says Tokyo Sky Tree can be seen in the middle of the front island and the left island uh, 50 kilometers ahead. Um, to be honest when I was at the top of the lighthouse I wasn't looking for the Sky Tree because I was just trying to get a quick video clip to say I did it and get down. <laughs> um, but anyways, yeah, my ephemera holder, for those of you that are curious, is from a Japanese, like, kids clothing store. I think it was meant to be a, like, a diaper bag organizer or pouch, but I saw it and I was like, oh, that is a cute little pouch to store all of my crap in. So, <laughs> That's what I'm using it for. So I have my ticket here and it's called the Canon Saki Lighthouse. Um, or yeah, it's Canon Saki Lighthouse is where we went. It's very beautiful. So I have that and then I have this. And you know what? I want to add an envelope because I don't... I don't want to cover up my photos, so I think I'm going to use one of these newer envelopes that I got from uh, Syria. It's a 100 yen store here in Japan. I really like this one. I mean, I like all of them, but this one with the map on it. And I like how they're already decorated. So, how am I going to do this? 
actually, I should have, I should have put this down first. I should have put this down first. That way I could decorate on top of the envelope and just use it as a pocket. So now I'm going to have to improvise. Ugh. No, and I can't do that. Maybe, maybe I can do that and then fold this over. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to do that. I'm going to make it fold out, but it's still covering it up. I'm use the yellow glue this time. Okay, so yellow is clear. So maybe it's just that they're different. This one does apply a lot smoother though. I like that. You know, it'd look really pretty right here is if I put like a wax seal right there. So that's pretty. So now it can open this way and then I can pull that stuff out. But I actually think I'm going to fold it a little bit more so that you can see the map. So we're still getting that pretty envelope. Yeah, that's not bad. And then again, it's, it's helping keep these close. And if I wanted to, it would add way more bulk. But if I wanted to, another thing I could do is add it like a little flat magnet under here. And then one right here to keep it closed. But I'm not going to do that. This isn't a mini album. That's what I would do in a mini album. But um, I'm going to leave that alone. And then maybe I can put... The lighthouse right there, lighthouse tickets, or maybe I'll put it, I really want to leave that open because I want, that's the spot I want to journal on. So maybe I'll put it behind here. Anyways, where was I at? So yeah, moving to Hawaii. Um definitely have a lot going on in my life, but really who doesn't? Who doesn't have something going on? It's challenging. Okay, so that's looking good so far. So now I can add like little elements and little embellishments to kind of add a little bit more interest. <laughs>
All right, guys, so I finished my journal entry. So I started over here and kind of went along with the curve of the um, linen printout. And then I went up here and then off to the side. So I really like how it turned out. I know this spread took me forever to do. Um, but I was just, I was putting honestly a little bit more thought than I normally do into this. I'm a little rusty. It's been about a month since I've touched my journal. So once I get back into it, things will go a lot smoother. But one thing I wanted to start doing, one of the things that I wanted to start doing was adding like the ages um, that everyone in the photo is at the time. Because journaling to me is kind of like a time capsule. Um, so I can go back and look, okay, my son was 14, I was 35, and my daughter was 6 at the time. So I kind of just wrote that off to the side, even though I could technically go back and look at the date, but then that requires me doing math, and I don't like doing math. <laughs> um, so I just started writing um, the ages that we were in photos. That's something that I wanted to start doing. Um, and again, I just really like how... Like, the the journaling, the handwriting part, like, fills in all of those blank spaces. It looks like a vintage collage um, when you do that. And it's just, it's, again, journaling to me is a little bit of everything. I've gone over this in my What is a Junk Journal video that I made, like, years ago. I think, like, three or four years ago. Um, but journaling, junk journaling is so many different things. I don't like to, like say it's one thing because it's not it's art um it's like scrapbooking it's um, memory keeping journaling and it's collecting um like i like putting receipts in my journals uh, so i can go back again like a time capsule and see how much a gallon of milk costed or costed or cost um and things like that so it's also mixed media. It's a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I don't like to categorize it as one thing. Um, some people like to think that junk journaling um, has to be just made out of junk or things that you would throw away and not store-bought um, items. And that's completely fine to each their own. Everyone is entitled to their own opinions. Um, this is just, this is just what it means to me. So I like to use a lot of different things in my journal spreads. I mix a little bit of old, a little bit of new, and I add photos and junk that most people would throw away, uh, like an old ticket stub or printouts from my adventures. And so, yeah, it's a little bit of everything. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for this journal with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up if you did. If you aren't currently subscribed, I hope you will consider subscribing. Um, and maybe you can take some ideas or learn something um, from my videos and apply it to maybe your journals. Or if you haven't started journaling, maybe these videos will be helpful for you to get started. Um, whatever you take away from this channel. I hope it's helpful for you is what I'm trying to get at. But thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me and I will see you next time. Take care.